The next question, the member for Scarborough Southwest. Thank you very much, Speaker. Speaker, my question is to the Premier. I have been hearing from Scarborough Southwest constituents and constituents across Scarborough, actually, who have nonstop for the past two days called and emailed us with stories. And I can assure this Premier and this government that it was not just education workers or union bosses, as they would like to claim, or point fingers at to blame. In fact, it's parents like Christina, who is livid with this government's blatant disregard to protect workers and ensure that her child has the quality support that she needs, that the child needs in the classroom. It's parents like Rachel, who is a parent, a volunteer, and an educational assistant. It's parents like Judy Speaker, who is a grandma to a kindergarten student who volunteers at a food bank, and she herself has seen education workers who come to those food banks because they do not make question. enough speaker. So my question is simple. Why is this government and why is this minister ignoring these voices of these parents and so many others across this province? Question. Minister of Education. Mr. Speaker, we are listening to the priorities and voices of parents who demand their children are in school. That is why we are here today, reacting to a union's decision to strike on Friday, a strike which I would hope none of us would support. And the fact is, Speaker, they are proceeding with a strike on Friday against the interests of two million children, even after the government urged them to withdraw the strike, to bring forth a reasonable offer, and to negotiate a deal that Order. we can all live with. But here we are, Speaker two days before a strike that will impact so many of the kids of this province, many of whom are vulnerable and should be in our schools. And so, Speaker, we are bringing Southwest forth legislation to order. before this House that will provide stability for parents, realizing, Speaker, Response. that the preference of government is a voluntary option. When unions continue to discuss a path to a strike, we will move forward on a path to provide stability for kids. Speaker. The supplementary question. Speaker, this government had the worst record in the country and across the world when it came to dealing with COVID and our school system and our education. 27 weeks, Order. our schools were closed. They did not have proper, proper instructions for child come to order. And that's what happened under this ministry and this government speaker. And they have the audacity to talk about bringing back students to classrooms. Do we have anybody in, in, on strike right now? No, we don't. You are preemptively introducing a legislation that tramples on the rights of workers across this province. And this legislation, make no mistake, everyone knows this, including unions that have supported you. They know this because they're, they're on the side of workers today. You know why? Because this kind of legislation, they hurt, they make precedent Question. for future, for all workers, Speaker. And I stand in solidarity with the teacher who stood there, who stood, taught, taught for 30 years. I stand with all these parents. I stand with the students who suffered and right now are suffering through so many mental health issues. They need educational workers, Speaker. Thank you. Thank Why you. are you trampling on the rights of these educational workers? To reply, 